Alright, what's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to game number three between MMA and FXO's Lenoch. This series is now tied up all up at one apiece and this is from MLG. Hope you guys enjoyed this broadcast so far as much as I have because these two players are such exceptional caliber players and they have been going toe to toe, stepping up, trading punches, trading blows and now it is tied up one at one at Antigua Shipyard. Now remember guys, MMA was able to take the previous game so he did tie up the series. Uh, you know, he pretty much had had Lenok on the leash the entire game though. I would say with the macro CC opening into the failed Roach Baneling aggression, you know, MMA just had control of that game pretty much the entire time. And Lenok was in, unable to capitalize, unable to use the aggression towards his uh, his goals. And now it is time for game three. They have spawn, cross spawn, Antigua Shipyard. This map is one of those maps that can be pretty unbalanced if you don't force cross spawn. And I think a lot of tournaments now are starting to realize that. Um, just starting to force cross spawn because if you don't if you have close spawns then the third location is very very vulnerable let's say for example mma had spawned here uh Lenoch would have had grabbed this third and then the rocks would lead right into the zerg uh, third area same same situation for terran to zerg or terran to protoss as well so uh there is cross spawn now and the map is fairly large so we might see a macro game again between these two players uh considering that Lenoch is so aggressive and an mma can also be very aggressive in the mid game it's like two uh super aggressive players pounding fists against each other uh considering that we've seen macro games and especially game one and game a uh, little bit of game two it's certainly surprising you know i would have thought things would just be going buck wild back and forth back and forth and games would have ended before the five minute mark between these two guys but so far uh you know games have lasted beyond the 15 minute marker and so uh, here comes the uh barracks coming up for mma he's got a SCV chasing that drone as well uh lee not getting that critical scout in and of course, Lee not pretty good at harassing with that drone as well in the last game. He ended up killing off an SCV before the drone died. It was like with its one final last claw blow. Bah! And it killed off the SCV. So uh, we'll see if Lenox able to do that. Showing that he's got Hux Probe Micro here in, uh, in, in terms of worker control. And uh, we do have a spawning pool coming down. Gas as well. 15 hatch out of Lenok. But of course, that doesn't mean that Lenok is going to play macro. Definitely not. Lenok is known to do some pretty crazy things, even off of a 15 hatch. You might never know it. But when you least expect it, you know, 15 roaches and 8 bailings at your front door, sure, why not? Uh, 6 pool, sure, why not? Um, fast mutas, hell, could happen too. So uh, here we have a gas steal from Lenok. He's actually going to steal the northern gas. But really, this is just being used to delay the uh, the drone's longevity here and keep it alive for as long as possible because obviously MMA can just grab the southern gas without too much trouble. And he's going to send the third marine on here now. And the three marines, it doesn't look like the drone's going to survive any much longer and the drone will go down. So, um... And then they, after killing off that scouting worker, decides now's the time to go ahead and invest into more barracks. He did open up with a one rax expand. Interestingly enough, throwing the command center down on the low ground against an aggressive player like Lenok. This is so risky, I feel like. You know, most Terran players, when they one rax expand, they're going to build that command center inside the main because, of course, it can lift off and then take control of the natural but uh, the fact that mma went ahead and built it outside on the low ground that's so risky against an, a volatile player an unstable player like Lenox. somebody needs to put this this zerg this korean zerg in a mental institution and lock him up he's he could go berserk at any time it's almost like he's a schizo uh, maniac uh one time showing the personality of a macro player uh, at any split second he can launch a blitzkrieg attack at you when you least expect it and uh it looks like MMA is actually going to move in here with four Marines and an SCV. Uh, not likely to build a bunker, but rather just a poke and prod and try to keep Lenox's aggression under control here. And it looks like he will now fall back. Doesn't want to let these Marines get caught on the outside of the map. And uh-oh, we do have a Baneling Nest coming in once again. And this time speed is being researched as well. Um, I think Lenok might be going for another Baneling Aggression play. He's getting a second gas as well. Uh, I don't know if he needs a second gas if he's going to go for Baneling Bust. So maybe he's just going to play a macro game. It's quite possible. You know, that Baneling Nest is just a standard timing nest. And he's going to go into layer and play a macro game. But it, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell when you see Lenok get a Baneling Nest. It's like, oh, he's going to do it. So <laughs> it, it's definitely kind of up in the air right now as to what Lenok wants to go for. But I think... He is going to play macro, and he's going to get the Baneling Nest purely for 
uh, for uh, standard purposes. And we do have some Zerglings here trying to run through the front, but too many Marines here from MMA, who is now starting to set up a pseudo wall here with the supply depots. It would be definitely wise of him to fully wall this off just in case something that he doesn't expect uh, to happen that might come at him might just. So uh, two gases right now for MMA. Uh, looks like he's going to go ahead and get into the factory mode. It would be pretty smart of him to get a couple of tanks out. You know, MMA, this entire series, hasn't really been investing too heavily into siege tanks, which is a little bit of a surprise to me. I think, uh, you know, getting more siege tanks can really halt that kind of aggression from Lee Nock, who, oh no, he's going for it again anyways. And now, I mean, the second gas, he's just going to have such a gas surplus. I'm not too sure why he went for the second gas, unless he's just going to go all banelings and no zerglings at all. But uh, he is going for another wave here. And MMA thinking he's going for that standard two base, eight minute, nine minute timing push is going to get shut down. Totally shut down by the zerglings and banelings. And now uh, MMA deciding to plug up the hole with the command center. <laughs> he's going to plug up the hole with the CC. He just doesn't have anything else to plug it up with. And this could be all she wrote, guys. Um... Wow, a lot of Banelings coming down. So yes, Leenok was going for all-out Banelings. He doesn't even need to make any more Zerglings, uh, although it would be nice to have. He's just going Buckwild Banelings right now. That's the build order. It's not Baneling Bus, it's Buckwild Banelings. And he's about to walk the Banelings up in through the Supply Depot wall. This is not fortified. MMA, why didn't you build more buildings behind the Supply Depots? It's beyond me. And now the Banelings are inside the main, uh, the natural. They might make their way inside the main. Yes, they will make their way inside the main. What am I saying? Tech Lab goes down as it was researching Stimpak and the MMA GG's. He's out of the game. That is it. Lenok takes the series with a Baneling, uh, Buckwild Baneling build. And uh, really well played right there by uh, Lenok. Totally fooled me, totally fooled MMA. And uh, he pulled it off. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I did. And if you guys did, make sure to follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. You guys can find my social media at HD Starcraft. And uh, more videos will be coming out soon. I'm actually going to prepare to go snowboarding pretty soon here. In a couple of hours, I just busted out all these casts before I had to go on my road trip. Hope you guys uh, wish me luck. And I wish you guys the merry.